All right, Marte, let's show you how to set up uh, custom sounds. So first thing you're gonna need to do, uh, let me pull it up here. So you're gonna need to go into your C, you know, this program files for the Warcraft classic. And then here you need to make a folder. Mine's just called custom sounds. Just make it something simple because you're gonna need to call it in game. Uh, pretty much. And then inside there, you just put your MP3 files. So like, for example, the Kirk one I have. I know. I know. Right. Here's my MP3 files. So once they're in this folder, let me come over here. And then I can go to, so if you see this little icon, this little sound icon on a weak aura, that means there's a sound attached to it. So under actions, you can see I've got play sound. I went to custom master channel you can set it to wherever you want by use master and then in here you need to set the file root so that's where it comes back to here right so the folder is custom sounds so the first part is custom sounds slash then i have bloodlust.mp3 but you can pick whatever you want also if you're having trouble you can also just right click on it come into here and just kind of copy the last part of it um whatever works for you but really, it's just it's always going to go to the classic directory as first. So you don't need to put anything before this. You just need to do whatever your file is called. So mine is custom sounds slash and then the file name dot whatever. And you'll know it works when you hit it. You should hear the sound effect go off when you hit enter in there. So would you type it all out like MP3 and you hit OK? You should hear the sound effect go off. It might be a little quiet because my stream has the volume kind of turned down on sound effects. But anyways, so now you might ask, how do I make custom ones, right? So you can obviously download MP3s from wherever you want. Um, and there's all kinds of ways to do that. Um, one easy way I do it is you can get Audacity, which is just a program. Um, you can just Google Audacity um, and download it. It's free. And what I do is, so I'll give you an example here. So... Let's just pull up something random over here on YouTube and I'll just show you. So I'm going to pull this up. So what I did is I've just got a YouTube clip playing over here. And so in here where the little speaker icon is, um, if you hit this drop down, it'll show you all the different inputs you can use. So I'm just using basically my speaker output, which is my headphone line in. So what I hear basically. So if I hit play on this video over here, and then I hit record. There it is. All right, let's see here. Can I even do this one? Yeah, I can. Okay, can I stop it? Now when I hit play. There it is. All right, let's see here. Can I even so I just recorded the audio. So if I had a clip I wanted to play on YouTube or a video or whatever, I can just cut the audio from my headphone output. Now, if there is one specific thing I'm looking for, like there boys, there it is, right? So I could highlight that and hit play. That's what I want. So there's a few things you can do here. I'm just gonna, I've got to highlight it. I was gonna hit Control X to copy, Control A, delete, Control V. So I just highlighted the section I wanted, cut it out, deleted everything, and then put it back in. And now, there you go. Now I just hit File, Export to MP3, and then I just, I have it send to that folder or somewhere else, and then I can move it in there later. So I can make this one say Boys. I'll just make it say Boys, right? And then I'm gonna hit Save. It'll export it, and now it should show up in that folder I just had up a second ago, right there, boys. Perfect. Now, if I want to call it in here, I could. The issue is, issue is, um, I think I could be wrong. We can test it. Fuck it, we'll test it. I'll just cut this out. Type in boys. Let's see if it picks it up. Probably is. I'm going to say it's probably not going to pick it up. Dot com. What? Dot mp3. Yeah, it's not going to pick it up. And the reason it's not going to pick it up is because you have to restart it before it'll relink the paths or whatever. So um, give me a second here. Let me swap this to game capture. Let me close out of the game. I'll restart it. And it should. That's my druid. Let's not launch my druid. Let's launch my warlock. Hmm. Any second now. Any second. God, I hate this Blizzard launcher so much. There we go. Should be coming. Here we go. 
Any time now, game. There it goes. Perfect. Well, I'm picking the Warlock. Now, that Bloodlust one, when I put back in the Boys command, it should pick up the Boys command. Um, should. Unless I fucked something up, but I'm pretty sure I didn't, so let's see. Go back to Bloodlust. Yeah, let's see. Let's... Okay, it's playing, but it's playing very quietly. You can barely hear it. So what happened there, I'm pretty sure, is the if I go into sound, it's probably very low. It is very low. So if I turn it all the way up, let's see if you can hear it now. Now, one thing is you might have to tweak around here. I'll show you in a second. So you can probably barely hear it. I can barely hear it. So let me go back into here. So I've got it on. I thought I had it on master. Maybe. What did I have? I did. So it's still really quiet. So the audio sample itself is just quiet. So it's probably just turned up. So what you can do to increase of this is I can just hit control A to select this again. I can go to track or FX. I can go to amplify and then you can adjust the gain here. You can also do like, this is just kind of let you fine tune stuff. If you can also go to normalize down here and that's gonna way crank it the fuck up. Boys, there it is. That's gonna way crank it up. So if I was to re-export this again, we'll just do a test here. So I'm gonna save it over this. It might not let me because the game might be right. No, we're good. Okay. Uh, save project for closing. No. So project file is just like this editing thing I'm doing. You can have a whatever. Um, I need to close that again and then we'll try it again. See if this works. And I'm just, I would normally not put all this in the video, but I figure in case you want to have troubleshooting issues, instead of having to figure it out, you can see me doing it live in progress and then, you know, come back to this later or whatever. But this, wow, that is very loud. Um, it's probably going to blow my ears off. I'm going to turn this shit back down. Um, but that's pretty much all you need. Um, you can do purified shadow pearls all the way up to uh, 365. Apparently I'm in Discord. From 350. There we go. I forgot to mute deaf in that. Oops. So this is probably gonna hurt. But let's see. Boys, there it is. There you go. Boys, there it is. All right. So I just cranked up the volume on that. And you can go more crazy with the sound effects and stuff. Obviously, I think I was like down here somewhere or something. So this should be audible enough. Boys, there it is. There you go. Right. I'm gonna swap this back to Bloodlust. And I'm good. And that's pretty much all you got to do. It's that simple. Um, and in terms of getting it, just in case you're unfamiliar, make a, any weak aura can do this. You just make a weak aura. And then under actions, you just go to, there's different sections, right? On initialization, on show, on hide. Normally it's on show. So like the lust one pops up whenever I get impacted by bloodlust. This icon pops up and then it plays the sound effect. It's that simple. You could also, if you wanted to make it go on hide or whatever, Again, it's that simple. Um, that's pretty much all you need to make custom sound effects. Uh, just get Audacity. It's free, really simple to set up. And like I said, you just want to make sure that you've got your, uh, whatever your audio source you're requiring from, it's probably going to default to your mic. You're going to just have to change it to whatever you've got set on Windows. So for example, for me, if I go down here to Volume Mixer, so whatever I'm using for my output device, whatever this is right here, Speakers 2, that's what you want to set to here because that's what, you're having your audio sources output to for you to be able to hear and that's what you're trying to capture when you play those videos or whatever source you want to use and if you want to do your own vocal you know get out of fire and you want to record that you can set that to your mic and then do exactly what i just did say it in the mic it'll clip it save it cut it down export it as an mp3 and you're good to go so hopefully that is everything you need to know and if you got any more questions feel free to hit me up in game or in discord